actress in the lead role, costume design. Don't mind me. I'm just writing all the categories. I think this movie is going to get nominated for at the Oscars. Screenplay, best picture. So Respect is a new biographical drama starring Jennifer Hudson as Aretha Franklin, and I'm here to talk about it, so let's get to it. As a child, Aretha Franklin starts off singing in her father's church, but eventually grows up to become an international musical superstar and forever dubbed the Queen of Soul. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and my reviews that discuss what I liked, what I didn't like, and then my overall thoughts. So starting with what I liked about the movie, you gotta start off with the acting in a movie like this because the biggest question is always gonna be, did this person successfully portray this person? And when it comes to Jennifer Hudson playing Aretha Franklin, the answer is definitely yes. Now I wasn't around in the 60s, so I'm not gonna sit up here and act like I'm the biggest Aretha Franklin fan. I liked a lot of her music, I think she had a great voice, and I think she's one of the best musical acts in the history of the entire planet. Planet, but this movie made me realize I don't know much of anything about this woman outside of her music. And what I did know about her music only scratched the surface of her career. Which leads me into another thing I liked about this movie and that's the writing. This is a well written and well directed movie that's clearly Oscar bait but not in a bad way. A lot of Oscar bait movies go for style over substance in a direct attempt to sway the voting board, but this particular movie is a great blend of both. Now the movie isn't fast paced, but it keeps a steady pace almost perfectly, so there's really never any dull or boring moments. And off the top of my head, I can't think of any wasted scenes. I can't think of anything in this movie that would have made the movie better if it had been taken out. And going back to the cast for a second, besides Jennifer Hudson, I think everybody else did a good job in this movie too. Now I don't know if these actors are perfectly cast or not, but what I do know is that I bought in everybody that I saw on screen. Another thing I liked about this movie is that Jennifer Hudson didn't lip sync. She actually sung the songs as being performed. I never thought of her voice as comparable to Aretha, but I really liked how her performances came across. The whole time she was singing, even though she sounded like Aretha, I never really had the thought that she was trying to do an impersonation of Aretha. Now that probably doesn't really make much sense with the way that I'm saying it, but if you see the movie, you'll know what I mean. Now as far as what I didn't like about the movie, the only thing I would say negative really is Marlon Wayans. Now his performance was good, Actually, I think probably the best dramatic role I've ever seen him in, but his voice and the way that he talked kind of took me out the movie at times. Everyone else in the movie talks in a regular voice or close to it, but when Marlon spoke, it was kind of distracting. He actually sounded like he was trying to do an impersonation of the person he was playing. And it probably wouldn't be a big deal with almost every other actor, but considering that he's already a funny guy, hearing him do that was kind of funny, especially at first, but you do eventually get used to it. But that's a minor nitpick in a movie that's well over two hours, so it's really not a big deal. So in conclusion, the acting was good, the story was good, the singing was good. Overall, the movie doesn't really seem to be holding anything back with how Aretha Franklin really was, and it definitely is on that top tier when it comes to musical bios. Now obviously a particular order is going to vary from person to person, but it's definitely on that type of level of movies like What's Love Got To Do With It, Straight Outta Compton, Bohemian Rhapsody, Ray, and even a newer movie like The United States vs. Billie Holiday. All that being said, I'd say this movie is a definite add to the Blu-ray collection. So that's my review of Respect. If you've seen it already, what did you think? Leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts. And also, what's your favorite musician biopic? Thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button to see what's coming next.